I'm Sabrina with the two minute CRA news you need to know. Talk about indoor heat illness regulations is getting hot. Here's some background. In 2016, Governor Jerry Brown signed SB 1167 into law, requiring Cal OSHA to establish a heat illness and injury prevention standard, applicable to workers working in indoor places of employment by January 1, 2019. Currently, Cal OSHA is working on a set of proposed regulations to implement the standard for minimized heat-related illness among workers in indoor places of employment, and CRA is involved. CRA is providing restaurant-specific input as these regulations are crafted to make sure they reflect the unique nature of our business and food code requirements. Restaurants use commercial cooking equipment like gas ranges, broilers, ovens, and fryers to prepare menu items for our customers. The California Retail Food Code requires restaurants to heat eggs, meat, poultry, and fish to specific temperatures to ensure food safety. This regulation is really directed at agriculture, construction, and warehouse employees. It doesn't consider the restaurant environment, which offers cold water, ice, and air conditioning. Now there's another twist with this regulation. A current law requires all state agencies, including Cal OSHA, to conduct a standardized regulatory impact assessment whenever a proposed rule would have an economic impact of $50 million or more. The standardized regulatory impact assessment would also take into account conflicting state regulations and propose efficient alternatives. But a bill currently making its way through the state legislature, SB 772, would exempt Cal OSHA from having to do this assessment. CRA opposes the bill because it eliminates an effective means of providing checks and balances in the regulatory process. We have an update for SB 63, Protected Leave Expansion. This bill would require employers with 20 or more employees to provide up to 12 weeks of parental leave for a new child, adoption, or foster care placement. Currently, SB 63 is in the Assembly Appropriations Committee suspense file. CRA opposes this bill. That's our two minutes. I'm Sabrina, thank you for watching.